What is asexuality? An asexual person is a person who does not experience sexual attraction. One of the most, if not the most, prominent appearances of asexuality on popular television was in a 2012 episode of the medical drama House. During an examination, one of Wilson's patients tells him that she and her husband are asexual and have never had sex. Wilson mentions this to House over lunch, and House being House, he can't let it go. You know that close to 1% of the population identifies as asexual? I have a patient who's asexual. Is she a giant pool of algae? It's a valid sexual orientation. 100 bucks says I can find a medical reason why she doesn't want to have sex. And indeed, by the end of the episode, House discovers that the asexual husband had a tumor which affected his sex drive, and his wife reveals that she was really interested in sex all along. This episode touches on two common perceptions of asexuality. One, the perception that asexuality is always the result of a medical condition. Asexuality, like homosexuality and like gender identity, has been pathologized. Asexuality is often conflated with HSDD, Hypoactive Sexual Desire Disorder, a sexual dysfunction characterized by a lack of interest in or desire for sexual activity which causes distress. The DSM-5, however, states, If a lifelong lack of sexual desire is better explained by one's self-identification as asexual, then a diagnosis of HSDD would not be made. The other thing this episode touches on is the perception that sex is the fundamental drive of our species. Kerrigan summarizes both these points by speaking to the sexual assumption, which sees sex as the culmination of and prerequisite for human flourishing. The idea that sex is a fundamentally human act then positions asexuals as something slightly less than human, which is the ultimate form of othering. Counter to House's belief, sex is not an essential part of life. So why is this representation problematic? The episode ends by proving House right, and in a Sherlock Holmes-style medical mystery, the structure of the story tells us that when the mystery is solved, the conclusion that's reached is the truth. Certain popular television characters are often speculated or read to be asexual. These include The Doctor, Sherlock Holmes, and Sheldon Cooper. But even these characters are often given romantic or sexual partners. Why? Heteronormativity, in the same way that it has positioned the rest of the queer community outside the norm, positions asexuality outside the norm. If the only normal orientation is heterosexuality, men and women attracted to each other, then asexuals don't fit the bill, even asexuals who have a romantic interest in the opposite sex. As Kerrigan explains, within the asexual community, a central distinction is made between romance and sex which may be counterintuitive from the perspective of mainstream sexual culture that regards the latter as the culmination of the former. Looking at the trajectory of asexual discourse in nonfiction media can give us some clues as to why asexuality is still absent from popular film and television. Asexuality is a contested orientation. The sexual assumption mentioned earlier leads some to conclude that asexuality is not a valid orientation. You might as well label yourself uh, not curious, unadventurous, narrow-minded, blind to possibilities. Those who take this view feel that the label is harmful and discourage its use. However, sometimes even in a discussion about asexuality, someone will question why the discussion is necessary. And is it a problem? No, it's not a problem. So then why do you need to organize? And then you have the asexuals marching to the right to not do anything. Which is hilarious. Like, you didn't need to march for that route, you just need to stay home. The notion of passing also contributes to this attitude. Asexuality is an invisible orientation in that it's not immediately obvious. Unlike a gay couple or lesbian couple holding hands with their partner in the street, there is nothing to indicate that a person is asexual.
In recent years, representation has gotten better. As awareness of the orientation spreads, asexual characters have turned up in comics, web series, and television shows. And in the third season of the Netflix animated series BoJack Horseman, Todd is confronted by a woman about his sexual deal. Todd, can I ask you something? Of course. What's your deal? I feel like you like me, but you don't like me, but you like me, and I don't know what that is. Are you gay? I'm not gay. I mean, I don't think I am, but I don't think I'm straight either. I don't know what I am. I think I might be nothing. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Todd doesn't use the word asexual, but the representation is still well received. One, throughout the season, we see him struggle with his sexual identity, and the experience is more important than the label. And two, Emily takes him at his word and accepts him for who he is. Why is representation important? It's important because we are the stories we tell. Stories allow us to empathize with people and experiences. Like other groups who have been marginalized by the dominant culture, it will take time for asexuality to find a place in popular film and television. This is just the beginning. I'd like to take a moment and tell y'all about me. Well, I don't like boys and I don't like girls, and yeah, I'm sure it's hard to see. How nice young man with a piercing stare 